everyone welcome to plants and politics this is your vegan news bite for september 25th 2020 so first up an article was published in confectionery production which detailed the findings of a study conducted by a company called mintel they found that vegan ice cream sales have more than doubled over the past five years they also said that the COVID virus has increased the number of adults that are interested in adopting a plant-based diet. I can attest to that. I literally had a friend reach out yesterday saying that she is trying to go vegan and wanted to find out the best way to do it. Next up is the European Union. So the EU has officially launched something called the European Alliance for Plant-Based Foods. The organization stated that plant-based foods have an integral role to play in achieving the EU's sustainability targets, and their goal is to, quote, demonstrate to the EU that plant-based foods are vital to reaching the environmental goals of the EU Green Deal and the agri-food transition set forth in the farm-to-fork strategy because they provide more choice to consumers to diversify their diet to match their environmental, health, and, and or ethical concerns. The EU Alliance also wishes to promote and incite companies to invest in more sustainable food products. And they said that they're eager to bring the scientific community together with people in the food industry to work to develop food systems that benefit people, animals, and the planet. Right up my alley. So uh, next and last for today is a Seattle-based company called Ceronix. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Ceronix Renewables. They just raised $1.8 million to increase production of their plant-based and eco-friendly cleaning products. The company is said to use starch-based ingredients along with natural oils to create the products and the base. Um, essentially, which can be used in cleansers, cosmetics, agri agricultural products, paints, inks, and other types of coating materials. They hope to create sustainable products that actually work and are affordable, which would be nice because currently a lot of these products don't either, they don't work very well or the ones that do work well cost a lot. <laughs> so... That is it for today, guys. As always, like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to Plants and Politics. The only way we can take our country and power back is to spread the truth and build an army. So remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever you listen to your podcasts. Thanks again.